Welcome to another video on AskStuart.com where today I'm going to be answering a question from a Mr. Erfan Mertzer. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Erfan. Uh, I want to start off by saying if you're watching, I really enjoyed your email, very extensive and something that I can really relate to and would love to help you uh, with uh, sharing some insight on. So just so you're aware of what the email was about, Erfan runs two businesses. He has a traditional business, which is a store in London and a franchise business, which I don't know too much about. He didn't go into detail. But the bottom line is Erfan was saying that he has very limited time to start this new online business that he's working on, which is an affiliate marketing business. And I think really what he's looking for, Erfan, I hope I'm right here, is for me to install confidence that you're not biting off more than you can chew and having an hour a day, which is what you said, to work on your online business, it's still worthwhile pursuing this dream, as you said, of having uh, more freedom and flexibility by replacing the income, particularly, I think you were saying, of your traditional store business um, with an online business. And uh, I think a lot of people can resonate with that. You know, uh, businesses or lives which are taking a lot of time, a job, family, and just not really knowing whether starting an online business or a business is realistic. So I want to start off by putting your mind at rest and say you absolutely can do this. Um, I have had many students over the years and to an extent myself, I had more than an hour a day when I started out, but it was still very limited. But I've had students in very similar situations to you where they really are restricted with their amount of time. One of the things I want to say to you right now is what I've often found is people with really limited amount of time get really, really good at being productive in those hours that they have. You see, when you've got loads of time, an abundance of time, four or five hours part time to build your business, weekends to build your business, maybe no kids and family and everything else, it's very easy to get into this routine of, you know, having big to do lists and ticking them off as you go, knowing that you've got all the time in the world to get the business going. Whereas when you're really limited and you're like, I've got an hour tonight or an hour first thing in the morning to make this happen, you really have to tunnel focus on what's going to happen, what's going to matter. And so, Here's the first thing I want to say to you, and please write this down, money producing activities. Okay, money producing activities. That's all that's going to really matter once you've got set up and seeing as you're doing an affiliate business, the setup is going to be assuming uh, pretty much done for you. So it's really just going to be about generating lead sales and of course customers. Now that's the same with any business. Once you've got the setup done, the foundations, the storefront, the online website, the sales funnels, the products that you're selling, really all that's going to matter is generating sales and it's so important within your first uh, beginning stages to be tunnel vision focused on driving leads, sales and revenue. It's the lifeblood of your business, it's what's going to enable you to survive and then eventually thrive which is of course what you want. So when I say money producing activities you don't want to be stuck in education mode, you don't want to be buying endless amounts of courses, you don't want to be going onto tons of webinars, watching loads of videos and just overwhelming yourself with new great information. There'll always be new and great information out there that's probably going to inspire you and excite you. But at the same time, the more you take on board in the early stages, the more you're going to feel overwhelmed and procrastinate if you go to the level like a lot of people do of just constant education. Your education should be restricted to a, a maximum of 20% of the amount of time that you're spending on your business. And I'd say in your instance, maybe 10%. You've got yourself set up, now get into the real world, the, the things that are gonna be tangible in your business and start generating leads and sales. In other words, campaigns, marketing, creating content, that kind of thing. If you're gonna be doing things like I know you said you're gonna be doing, like Facebook advertising, all you should be doing each day is spending your limited amount of time setting up a new ad, a new campaign. Get it up and running. I think you said your budget was uh, 10 or $20 a day. Perfect. Get it up and running. See if that campaign starts generating leads, then maybe sales. Uh, run it for a week or five days. And once you've got a winner, okay, whether that happens your first week, your second week, your third week, you now are in a situation where you can monitor it. And that's not going to take a lot of time. I run many different campaigns selling many of our different products mentoring many of our students who are uh, selling many different products. And I can tell you now that once a campaign is up and running, especially paid marketing, it's fairly easy to monitor. Okay, so you wanna be finding new campaigns that are working, cutting out the duds. Um, often when starting out, you're gonna have a lot of dud campaigns. In other words, you're gonna spend 50 bucks over five days and get no results. Don't lose sleep over it. You're in business already, you already know this. It's time 
to sort of uh, wipe yourself down and move on to the next one. And that's the mindset you need when you've got limited amount of time. You've got to get into lead generation, sales generation, revenue generation. And for me personally, I've always focused on any new venture that I'm involved with, scaling it for me to six figures before I even, you know, focus on any of the perfectionist stuff. So many people worry about looking perfect, the perfect website, the perfect logo, the perfect content, the perfect bio, that kind of thing. None of that really ultimately matters in the early stages. If you've got a good quality product to service, you're endorsing as an affiliate a good quality product which is in demand, leave the perfectionist stuff, the branding stuff, the uh, overwhelming amounts of content that you probably want to focus on right now for later and just start generating visitors and leads to your site. Now what you're going to find is that over time, a few weeks, you're going to start to see some results. Maybe it's your first few leads, maybe it's your first sale. Once you've got those results, it's much, much easier to use your time wisely. So that hour you're putting in a day, you're going to rinse and repeat something that's now working. And then the next hour, the next day, you're going to rinse and repeat something that's working. You're going to keep trying things out until you've got this endless stream of leads and then eventually sales coming into your business. Now, ideally, what you want to do is just keep doing that until you're in a position to wind down some hours in your current business or potentially even fully replace that income and revenue. I don't know what, what you're trying to replace. For me, it, I knew I needed to make around 80,000 in income to replace my job income um, or walk away from my job. And that is what I got to before I considered leaving my job. And that was on very limited amount of time. And I got there by being very, very focused on money producing activities. So the mistake a lot of people make is perfectionists. They want to make everything to be perfect. And I guess insecurities around knowing enough so one course after the other, one webinar after another, another video after another, nothing is going to teach you better than in the trench experience. This is why with our affiliate training system, which I actually didn't see in your email, uh, whether you're uh, a student of ours or not, but if you are, you'll know that we've systemized the steps in order to get results with affiliate marketing. And once you've got those foundations in place, all you should be focusing on is the money producing stuff. And the amazing thing is, is that uh, by being someone with limited amount of time, you're going to set yourself up for a really good foundational um, uh, awareness around how to get maximum results in limited amount of time. If you can build, for example, a six figure revenue online business working just an hour a day, think what you can do when you've got that extra hour, two, three, four hours a day. And you wrote in your email that you're after more freedom and more time. That experience of learning how to grow a business in limited time will set you up with some incredibly good habits. So you're not one of those individuals staring at a screen all day, checking email all day, following uh, tons and tons of people learning new things all the time. And you'll get very, very good at focusing on the things that really matter in business, which is driving uh, lead sales and, and uh, revenue, especially in an online marketing or affiliate marketing business where that really is principally uh, your sole uh, responsibility in order to be successful. So I hope this has helped. In summary, uh, don't be a perfectionist. Don't get stuck in education mode. Get out into the real world practicing what you need to do to generate sales in your new business and drive revenue, money producing activities. Give yourself 10 or 20% of your time that you have in educating yourself, learning new things. If you've got a mentor, perfect. Use that 20% of time to go over what you're working on, to review what you're working on, fix anything that's not right, and uh, then spend the rest of your time when you're not on the phone or you're not on Skype or you're not replying uh, to each other's emails and uh, focus on uh, actionable money producing activities and uh, you'll get there. Hat off to you, truly. I love hearing people who are committed to uh, setting on a new path to create the life that they really want. And that certainly sounds like what you're doing. Uh, over and out, and I look forward to seeing you in the next AskStuart.com video coming up very soon. Take care.